Hey guys, welcome back to Am Sam Fam. Well, and what are we eating today? Cheeseburgers. Today we're bringing a special video to you about the delicacies of American Samoa. So here in American Samoa, we are part of America, which means the cheeseburger is king. So we have gone around to a few of the different places around the island, kind of most well known for their cheeseburgers. And we are going to do a little cheeseburger taste test of American Samoa. So as we go through and eat them, we're going to rate them from one to 10. Both the cheeseburgers and the fries. Oh yeah. One, 10. So it's important to note that we did only pick four cheeseburgers from four different restaurants, and it does not represent all the cheeseburgers available in American Samoa. I'm sure there's a lot of other ones that are really good, but these are kind of really notable places. With one exception, probably the most notable spot in American Samoa to grab a cheeseburger is McDonald's. And we opted to not grab a McDonald's cheeseburger for this taste test because you can get McDonald's anywhere in the world and it's almost always exactly the same as you've ever had it. So you kind of already know what, know what to expect there. For our very first cheeseburger, we're going to try the thick burger from... The Cars Jr. Now, Carl's Jr., we think is a little bit different than McDonald's because it is a national chain, but if there's those folks that are from Australia, New Zealand, or any place outside of the U.S., uh, then you might not have had Carl's Jr., and so this is going to be a new thing you could try if you ever visit American Samoa. We're also going to look at it as sort of our baseline because it's a known factor, kind of, for those of us that are from America that have had Carl's Jr. or Hardee's. So we're going to do this kind of mukbang style, not quite the same. We got one cheeseburger and an order of fries from each of the places. And so since there are three of us, cutting in thirds is just too messy. And so we cut each burger into fourths. And so everybody grab one. How much did this cheeseburger and fries cost? What was it? $8.90. Exactly. It's a big bird. I will say, we got everything with no mayo, no onions, because none of us like mayo or onions <laughs> in our burgers. We also just everywhere we went, we ordered just the regular cheeseburger, no deluxe cheeseburgers, no bacon cheeseburgers. We wanted to kind of keep it as uh, uniform as possible. So this one does have tomato and lettuce on it, which is awesome, and I'm excited about that. And pickles. Cool. All, right, All right, here we go, guys. everybody. It's good. It's like the classic Carl's Jr. taste, mm -hmm. which is awesome. It's really good. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good fast food burger. But it's like the highest echelon of fast food, I would say. It's what not just like think? a greasy burger. I'll give it a seven. Wow. Now I'm cleaning the pickle. I don't like. Pickles. Oh, that's right. Here, you can put the pickle back. Yeah. Or on your lap. <laughs> I mean, I agree with Holden. I'm going to give it a seven. Because it's good. It's really great, but there's nothing about it that makes me feel like I just had something premium. But I don't feel like I had something that was like total garbage either. All right, so you guys set the standard high. I actually am going to give it a five. <laughs> because like you're saying, I it's a good burger. I don't think it's um, like a, a gourmet burger or there's nothing that's blowing my socks off and so that to me seems like an average burger which a five is right there in the middle. I don't think it's disgusting by any means. I I enjoy Carl's Jr. burgers so. Alright, hold on we need the fries. There, now I've got Carl's Jr. Just the regular french fries, not the curly fries or the crisp cut fries, anything special, just the regular french fries. So I'll tell you right now, Carl's Jr. fries, I think, are among the worst of the fast food french fries. Not just in American Samoa, but anywhere. Personal preference thing. Hold them. Now let it be noted that we had to pick each one of these up separately. So as we rate these fries, they are cold by this point. Yeah. I mean, it's American Samoa, so they're not stone cold, <laughs> but they're not piping hot anymore. I mean, the thing is, 
French fries like pizza. There's just different levels of good. So they're always good. It's, I mean, it's deep fried potato. There's no way to go wrong with that. <laughs> I don't know if your scales of one to 10 are like mine. I think of like one as being so awful, making me want to gag. And I think it's 10 as being like the best out there and five as being neutral. I'd put these at like a uh, six maybe. All right, I am going to stick with a five for these fries. Okay. Yeah, they're not bad. Seven. A seven again? Well, cool. If they were hot, it would be a seven. <laughs> so it's worth noting that we're kind of using classic Coca-Cola to freshen our palates after we're taste testing each one of these because it's classic to have a burger with a Coke. Yeah. Hey, Holden, where's our next burger from? I'm gonna try it. It's right here. From, from? Milo Vale. Now, Milo Vale's, this is a little bit different than the other burgers. We tried to go with kind of almost restaurant style regular burgers, but Milo Vale's is the original fast food burger in American Samoa. It's been around since the 1970s there. Everybody grab one. I choose. Oh, they got me. <laughs> this is a real basic burger. We've got bun, meat, cheese, and then a special sauce that is, I think, pretty unique to Milo Valles. They've got a teriyaki sauce that they put on. If you watched our video, 10 things you'll either love or hate about American Samoa, we talked about the food here, and this is a really good example. A hamburger is usually just a savory food, but when you add the teriyaki sauce, it gives it a little bit of sweetness. Not like teriyaki sauce is weird on a burger. You kind of have like the teriyaki pineapple burgers around, but that has like a whole different flavor than this where it's just the teriyaki on there and, and it's just like cooked in the teriyaki sauce so honestly sometimes um we just don't want quite as much sweetness and we'll go to Mila Valles and we'll order these without the teriyaki sauce that's also really good they, they just make a good burger uh -huh. right. I'm gonna give this uh four for the teriyaki sauce you're not a big fan of the teriyaki sauce yeah I think there, there's no teriyaki sauce I love it a ton it's been a while since I've gotten it with the teriyaki sauce and I'm digging it. I think it's good. It's also got like a peppery thing going on in there too, uh -huh. so it helps so you get the sweet and the savory. I mean, I like Milo Valle's burgers. They're, they're pretty special. Even if you don't like the teriyaki sauce, regardless of how you feel about that, if you come to American Samoa, you got to go stop by Milo Valle's and get a burger just because that's the thing to do here. All right, I'm ready. I'm going to give this one a seven. I was going to actually bump it up to eight on this just because <laughs> it's just such a unique flavor. It's, it's almost hard to compare it to the other burgers mm -hmm. because of the teriyaki sauce that makes it its own kind of thing. Because we know a lot of you aren't here in American Samoa, I've got good news for anybody who is in the Utah region that the owners of Milo Valles recently opened up a Milo Valles food truck in Provo, Utah. And so I've heard that they have the teriyaki burgers and their fish and chips there and so if you see us eating this and you want to try one of these burgers for yourself and you're in the area then you can drive over to Provo and try it for yourself. How about chips you mean fries right? Fries yeah speaking Sweet, of fries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay so why don't you pull the other thing out there. Oh fry sauce. <laughs> holy, holy fry sauce. If so, you spent any time in Idaho, Washington, Oregon, Utah, that region, you know fry sauce and you hopefully love fry sauce. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me show you this fry too. They do like the great big thick steak fries. Oh, they do them right. Their fries are hands down the best fries in the territory. Mm -hmm. 10 for the fries for me. And this is the only 10 I'm gonna give today. And these also have been sitting for a while while we drove out to our boat. If you didn't notice, hey guys, look, we're in our boat. <laughs> um, so they're not, yeah, they're not nice and hot and fresh, but I agree. I don't, I'm not even gonna dip it in the fry sauce, <laughs> but they still deserve a 10. So I've got, I'm giving them a 10 also. Without the fry sauce, they're 9.9. .9. <laughs> I'm not going to give it 10. I'm going to give it an 11 with the fry sauce. What? 
All right, Holden's cheating. <laughs> now this next one we have here, fair warning, I got a little bitter taste in my mouth about it to begin with. This is from a place that if you have spent any time here in the territory, especially with government, you'll know this place very well because it is the go-to spot for business lunches, especially if you're with the government. And that is Don't Drink the Water Cafe or locally known as DDW. Now here's why I've got a bitter taste in my mouth about it. For all of these burgers, we ordered them ahead of time and we ordered about two hours ahead of time that they could deal with their lunch rushes and we gave them lots of time for it. And we showed up to pick this up and it we had to wait around for another 40 minutes for it. So frustrated, but I'm not gonna let that impact my taste buds. My yeah. taste buds are impartial. They don't care about how late you are in delivering my food to me. They just appreciate a good burger. So here we go. This came all together in a clam shell. We've got the cheeseburger, just a plain cheeseburger again. Looks it's, like a fancy bun though. Yeah, it looks like a really, really delicious bun. It's obviously like a kind of a handmade cheeseburger. They didn't just pull like some frozen patty, so that's definitely a benefit. I want the meaty side this time. Okay, hold them. You choose first. Look at that patty. It's thick. Yeah, it looks really, really good. It does. And, and this one actually comes with some ketchup too, which well, it looks if you're into that my, kind of thing. <laughs> that's my preferred condiment for looks, hamburger and fries. Well, I mean, the really bun is food. amazing, guys. The bun itself is just this really thick, doughy kind of roll. Uh -huh. You're spilling your crumbs on me. <laughs> I can barely get my right. mouth around this. Yeah. I want to give this a time. Already. amazing it's so dry yeah, it is the bun is pretty dry the burger itself is like nice and juicy yeah but the bun the bun itself is i mean it's dry but the thing is there's no sauce on here there's no lettuce there's no tomato to moisten it up and so <clears throat> i think i'm gonna have to add something to it i want to add the fry sauce so bad but i gotta stay <laughs> with what they gave us to be Stay true. Add a little ketchup to it, see if it loosens it up a little. So, <clears throat> I think also, especially because we just ate the Milo Valles burger that had that super flavorful teriyaki, that this one does just, it, it doesn't taste super flavorful either. It's very similar to like, if you make a hamburger at home, uh -huh. the burger itself tastes very similar to that. But you can tell, again, it's, it's like fresh ground meat that they put together. And, Mm -hmm. It's yeah. good. And it's not really like oatmeal good. like usual when you make them at home. <laughs> That's us. We're weird. <gasps> yeah, most people don't <laughs> add oats to their hamburgers. <laughs> My mom does. We do that to try to be a little bit healthy. Don't judge us. We're not weirdos. <laughs> we try to make it a little healthy by adding oats. Oats and chopped up there's, spinach or kale. <laughs> there's no way to say that without us sounding like weirdos. <laughs> Things holding. <laughs> All right. Let's see, the burger. A. An A? Nice. I'm going to go with a six. Burger snob over here. <laughs> I'm also going with an A. It is just like a great handmade hamburger. I'm not letting the Time amount of time we had to wait for the burger influence that. It's an A because it's a good burger. It's dry though. Probably be higher if there was um, a decent sauce on there, some lettuce and tomatoes, maybe some pickles. It would make it, you know, it would make it go from a good burger to a great burger. So I guess the long and short is, if you go, don't order the plain cheeseburger, order the deluxe cheeseburger. Yeah, burger. yeah, that was my thing. It was, it was just, it was a little too plain. And now we have okay, these fries. We've got fries, and again, they also do the nice, big, thick uh, steak fries. And we've got ketchup, and I love my French fries dipped in ketchup, so. Me, more or less. I don't know. Mila always does something different because I know. this misses it somehow. It does. But I do love my French fries dipped in Coke. No. These look exactly <laughs> like Mila Bali's French fries. They do. But they taste completely different. I was really excited to 
get the same experience that I got from the Milo Bali's fries, but and I didn't even have ketchup for the Milo Bali's fries, but but they beat these. They're still good. I don't know how to explain what the difference is. They're like chewier, mm -hmm. I guess. I don't know. It's almost like they weren't fully cooked. I think they were though. I can't give these more than a six. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't really want to eat any more now. I'm not really enjoying myself. Well, I think I gave the Carl's Jr. fries a five. And I think these are definitely better than the Carl's Jr. fries. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go with a seven for these. Okay. What about you, Holden? I'm going to give it probably seven. A seven. Alright, All right. there we go. There's DDW. That brings us to our last burger place, which is Phase Ride the Sea, also known as Goat Island. That's right, we've got Goat Island Cafe here. This definitely had the best presentation. It was all laid out, and you could see the tomatoes and the lettuce and the pickles and everything, and I got to put it together and I left the onions out and made it the way we want it. Now I will say that, so we ordered it without mayo and it doesn't have mayo on it, but it does have like, it looks like a fry sauce kind of thing. So, so everybody dig in. Oh man. I know, it looks really good. The bun looks good. It doesn't look as good as a DDW bun, but, um, but it also looks like a still premium bun. Mm -hmm. Really good looking burger in there. Oh man. That's good. It's so flavorful. There's mm -hmm. just so many flavors coming out. So good. Oh yeah. <clears throat> flavors that I don't necessarily expect to be in a burger. I like this dressing stuff that they've got on here whatever sauce it is I think it's sweet pickles that's like chopped up really small in it I'm not always a big sweet pickle fan but sometimes it really works well hmm. it's kind of a messy burger which <laughs> is almost always a good thing mm -hmm. messy usually means delicious so the bread is good it's, it's moist it's not like a dry bread yeah the patty itself I'll be honest, the patty doesn't look visually as good as the DDW patty, mm -hmm. but it tastes amazing. It's so good. Obviously not just like a, a frozen patty. Yeah. It looks like it's pretty fresh that way. Yeah, like just just eating the, trying to eat the patty just by itself to taste. It's super moist, even without any of the sauce stuff on it. And it's got a really good flavor too. That's a good burger. It was a nine for me. Really good. This one was my favorite of the burgers here today. So I'm going to give this burger an eight. Wow, for a burger snap, guys. That's <laughs> like, it's about as high as it goes, I think. I think that I'm going to give it a, a six. A six? Mm -hmm. What's good about it? Well, I can tell you the things that I don't really like about it. All like right, let's hear what we there. don't like. I don't like how the bun's like, like the bottom of it is just like all wet. The salt. Yeah. Again, so it sat in this styrofoam clamshell and it does include lettuce and cucumbers and tomato, which have a lot of water content in them. And so the bun did get a little bit soggy as it was sitting here. That's true. But I really like how the lettuce and like mixed with the patty taste. Yeah, good. Awesome. Fry time. And we also got some ketchup through yep. Good got, Island too. And again, we got the steak fry type fries too. So see if it can, we can compete with Milo Vales. And I mean, they look just like Milo Vales fries, but they don't taste nearly as good. And it's not just because they're, they're a little bit cooled down now. I think it's yeah. just, I don't know if it's like the oil that Milo Vales uses or what it is, but something about those fries are good. And these just aren't coming close to that. Mm -hmm. They're also way under salted, so mm -hmm. they're very, very bland. I think I'm going to give them an eight also. I think I think they're a good burger, good fries. 
fries are not as good as Milo Valle's fries were. But they're a good ketchup dipping fry. Yeah, they are. I can give it a seven or so. A seven? Seven? Yeah. A seven or so? Seven. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking a seven on the fries also. I like the consistency a little better than DDW, but. Yeah. I like to be able to have a fry without any sauce and still think it's good. These need the sauce, but they are good with the sauce. And we're going to tally up all the scores that we gave all the burgers there. So there you have it, guys. This was a lot of fun. And again, we only did those four burger places. There are other really good burger places on island. In fact, there are enough that I think we could probably do a second part of this video. <laughs> yes. But before we do, why don't you let us know in the comments down below which places you would like to see us rate for their burgers and which ones you want to see us do a taste test and put them against each other. Also guys, please let us know if there are other foods you want to see us test out here in American Samoa. We could do pizza, we could do oka. Let us know what you want to see us showing and giving our opinions at least of what is the king in American Samoa. Thanks so much for joining us again. Let us know in the comments and let us know with a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. We haven't really done any quite like this before and so we're trying something new. Let us know if you like it or if you want us to get back to the adventures. If you're just joining us for the first time, again, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you can follow us in all of our adventures and through all of our taste tests and everything that we do here in American Samoa. And I want to say a great big, huge thank you to all of our patrons who have pledged over on our Patreon page who help support us and keep these videos going. If you are interested in supporting us that way also, you can head over. We've got a link down below to our Patreon page so you can go there too. Okay guys, until next time. So far, so far. So far, so far. So far, so far. <laughs> You should be nice on top. No top. Holden, don't touch your feet while we're eating, please. How does it pass the smell test, Holden? It kind of smells like a Like butter? Yeah. They think it's this.